my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are for those of you guys that are new to my channel welcome don't forget to hit that subscribe button for those of you guys that are returning welcome my lovelies how are you so today it was a very auspicious day there is a lot of synchronizations that i was experiencing through my clients and the last reading that i did today was uh particularly in regards to their business and career and what was a surprise to me was that uh, the client was very unaware of what their boss thought of them or how they seen them. So I figured, you know, a lot of the times I do love readings, obviously. You guys are here for that, right? <laughs> but I'm going to spread and uh, do continue to do all the love readings that I do and the monthlies. But I'm also going to be doing uh, whatever I'm drawn to in regards to... Uh, you know what i'm sensing that day and today was one of the days where it just seemed like a lot of my clients were very unaware of the perception of how people viewed them so this reading is going to be for those of you guys that are interested in knowing how your boss thinks or sees you now i understand that there's plenty of you out there that run your own businesses so i will also do a reading for those that run their own businesses or that you're an entrepreneur um we will look at how people perceive you, how they view you, and the advice. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. This is going to be for all the zodiac signs, okay? So we're going to start off here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirits, what are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? If you can give us insight in regards to how their boss or how uh, upper management sees them, how they view them, and the advice card for them. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get into it. Aries, how are you doing, my lovelies? Here we go. We're going to keep it 100, you guys. You guys already know. I don't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> so whatever comes out, that is what they're trying to express to you, okay? So here we go. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does their boss or higher management seize them? How does their boss and upper management seize them? And you can also provide us the advice cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Aries, we're starting off here with the Four of Cups. We have the Page of Cups and we have the Four of Swords. Wow. So what they're showing me here is there is a bit of discontentment. Um, this could be that they feel uh, that you're more capable or capable of doing more. However, uh, there is a bit of doubt there. There is a bit of uh, not being completely 100% present. I understand the everyday struggle, right? Sometimes we kind of have to, you know, drag our feet to work. Um, but I feel you, I feel you very disconnected and what they're showing me here is that, um, they're seeing you as very complacent. Um, that's how you're coming across. That's how they like you very disconnected from your work or what you're doing. Now, for some of you guys, this could indicate that, um, especially those of you guys that go through like a review, like every year review type of thing. If you haven't experienced a raise or anything like that, it could potentially be because they are expecting more from you. And in turn, they're not receiving it or they feel like you're just very, you know, you're there because you're there. You're there because you're, you know, getting paid, basically. Um, there is a bit of discontentment here. Now, it, this could be your energy as well, Aries. This could be that you're just feeling very disconnected from your job. But the way they're viewing you is they see a lot of potential in you i fear for some of you guys it's almost the feeling like uh may maybe there is because what's standing out to me and i will show you here what's standing out to me here is the tree which indicates trees are always a significator of stability of strength of you know having the the having what it takes to to make it work and that's what's standing out to me. And as you can see here, the girl very oblivious to the tree. So for some of you guys, it could be a situation where at some point you were giving it your all or you were trying to impress or really step up to the plate and you feel like you were overlooked. You feel like they didn't appreciate or they put in, they, they didn't see what you were doing. Um, 
they could have taken you for granted. For some of you guys, they could have given a promotion to someone else. It's almost a feeling of being let down or like, what's the point of putting effort if they are not appreciating that? And trust me when I tell you, Aries, they have definitely noticed that. Um, and I feel like maybe for them at that point in time, there was almost, like I said, a, a desire of wanting to see the best to come out of you. Um, but for some of you guys, it could be that they, in fact, felt that you were very passive when we're talking about uh, putting effort or energy, there was like a decline in your efforts. And they definitely noticed that. And they're still kind of hoping for some type of pickup or some type of, because we do have the page of cups here. So it does indicate to me that they definitely acknowledge you, that they definitely know or are aware of what you're capable of doing. However, um, and this could be almost like the feeling of, you know, I really like Aries, but I know that they're capable of doing much more. And in your perspective, you felt like you were overlooked or like they didn't appreciate what you were doing. So you stopped doing or you just became very passive. Now, what is the advice here for Aries? What is the advice for their growth and advancement in their career or their finances here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What is the advice here for Aries? Oh, we have a card here. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Seven of Wands. And what they're telling me here, Aries, for you, is the Queen of Pentacles is very grounded energy. This is staying focused because you know and you are aware of what you're worth or what the work that you put in is worth. So this is indicating to me that there are possibilities and probabilities for you out there. For some of you guys, maybe you feel stuck. And there is a bit of fear because you're comfortable or you've been in that company or you've been working there for many years. What they're telling us, don't be complacent, Aries, because we have the three of wands here. And the three of wands is putting yourself out there. It is knowing and understanding that what you desire or what you put focus on will definitely come your way. But remember, wands is always fire. It is action. It is movement. So what they're telling you is don't be complacent. If you feel that you are unhappy where you're at right now or you're being overlooked or you're not being appreciated, they're telling you don't be scared of standing your ground, of asking for that raise or don't put yourself in that box. Start shopping. Start looking around. Start looking who's hiring. Start you know, asking or even doing research in regards to how much people that are in your position are getting paid. Um, I see a lot of possibilities for you, but what they are definitely telling you here is if they're not appreciating you, and this has been going on for a while, it's time for you to spread your wings. It's time for you to know your worth and not be scared to expand, not be scared to try new things or not be scared of looking outside of where you're at or where you're working right now. Um, that is the biggest take that I'm t that I'm getting here for you guys, okay? So I hope this helps you. Now let's go to... That was very interesting. Okay. I heard a ring, you guys. <laughs> All right, now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does their boss or higher ma management see Taurus? And if he can also provide for us the advice for Taurus for their growth and expansion in regards to their career and their finances. How does their boss... Okay, we have the five of pentacles here. How does their boss see Taurus or higher management? How do they view them? And what is the advice for Taurus? Okay, here we go. So we have the five of pentacles, we have the six of wands, and the page of cups. Wow, okay. And your advice here is the nine of pentacles, the nine of swords, oof, two nines, and the six of swords. Okay, so what they're showing me here uh, for you, Taurus, five of pentacles indicates to me that you've came from a situation where it was very difficult, or perhaps you were dealing with a lot of financial difficulties, However, what's standing out for me here is the key. Not sure if you guys can see there, 
there's a key behind the girl. And what that is indicating to me is whatever blockages you've been experiencing, whatever you've been dealing with in regards to your career and in regards to your finances has a lot to do with how you feel or view yourself, Taurus. So it's almost like what they're saying here is that you're setting limits for yourself. And the six of wands being right at the center indicates to me that you have the strength, the courageousness, the wits to talk yourself into growth. So when I say talk yourself into growth, you have this potential to sell yourself. But the thing about it is that you create limits because you either doubt or fear asking for what you deserve. So for some of you guys, it could be almost kind of in, in, in almost the energy of, of Aries reading, of feeling like you've been overlooked, feeling like people haven't appreciated you or haven't appreciated the effort that you've put. Now, for some of you guys, you could have been coming from a situation where there was struggle, there was difficulties, and now you're going into a much more comfortable situation. Um, but it does resonate very strongly uh, what they're saying in regards to the worthiness, right? That the sometimes we fear asking for a day off, asking for our vacation time or asking for um, a raise, asking for a higher position. And the reason why you fear it sometimes it's because you fear or you think, I should say, that your bosses or high, higher management should know better, right? And they see the, that what people are doing and the work that they're putting and they should acknowledge the work that I'm doing, right? But it doesn't always happen that way. And what I'm seeing is that along the road or along the path, there's been many people that have a lot to do with the advancements or lack thereof advancements in your career. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a lot of people. For some of you guys, management is something that's always changing. So it's been, it's not so much that you've been overlooked. It has more to do with some people uh, have been a detriment to your growth. Um, and this is not particularly because they have anything against you, as we do have the page of cups, so you're well received. But it indicates that it has more to do with the lack of stability in the workplace. So like I said, it could be that management is always changing. It could be that um, there is other people around management that are in their ear, um, not necessarily uh, that they have a vendetta against you, but it has more to do with the fact that what they're telling you is if the raise, if the bonuses, if the higher positions don't come to you, it's time to speak up and it's time to not be scared of knowing what you rightfully deserve. Because I see you guys, some of you guys almost like taking the approach of, you know, I'm putting effort or I've been putting effort. At some point, there was a decline. At some point, there was like either you stopped trying as hard or you kind of gave up or you just said, fuck it. Um, and what they're telling you here is that it has a lot to do with the way you view yourself. So the advice card here is with the nine of pentacles, stability is there. Uh, growth and opportunity is there. However, nine of swords is, again, mental. Swords are always mental. It's always in the mind. So whatever blockages you've experienced, whatever feeling you've experienced in the past, like they've overlooked you or like they didn't appreciate you, has more to do with the fact that there is fear. There is a bit of, you know, being scared to ask for something because you don't want to be rejected. However, if you really look at this card right here, right, all the birds, and there's one there, and it's white, which is a symbolization of spirit. And what spirit is telling you is that do not be scared to ask or to speak up, to let your voice be heard, Taurus. Now, let your voice be heard and show them through actions. So when I, when I say that, what they're saying is if you put effort and energy and really focus on the goal that you're trying to achieve, you will achieve it. You will overpower or overcome the mental uh, the mental 
blockages that you've been experiencing in the past and you will definitely move forward to more stability to more growth because we do have the nine of pentacles here so what they're telling you is again do not fear to speak up do not fear to lend your opinion um when people are as an example in a meeting and they ask for feedback don't be scared of opening up and speaking up because people are going to start to admire you people are going to start to see you in a very different light um, but again, let that anxiety go. And the easiest way to, to, to sit, to, to do that, the easiest route to get to that is to know your worth is to know that, Hey, if I ask for a raise, can I back that up? Have I been putting effort? Have I not missed? Have, am I constantly on time and everyone around you is missing or, being laid or whatever, then you know for a fact that, you know what, you deserve that fucking raise. You deserve that bonus. You deserve that position that just opened up. What they're telling you is spread your wings. Don't be scared to pick at the tree of the fruit that you want. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now let's go to Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. Spirit guides, give us insight. How do... How does Gemini come off to their bosses or higher management? And if you can please give us the advice for Gemini as well. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do their boss or higher management sees them? Okay, here we go. We have the Sun card. Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups, okay. The advice here, Knight of Wands, Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, okay. So they definitely see you as a very happy person or a person that is really good, especially for those of you guys that are in sales. Your energy is very receptive. It's like people, you're just a ray of sunlight. Um a ray of fucking sunshine, right? <laughs> uh, they see you very confident. They know that you put the effort and you put the works in. But lately, something has been going on with you where you are either, and this could be, I understand that we've gone through a pandemic and just difficulties, but they see you very like absent. So absent is what I'm hearing for some of you guys. It could be that you've been taking a lot of time off for others of you. You did have perhaps health issues um, or people that you knew had health issues. Uh, for others of you, you were just very depleted from your energy. And they've definitely noticed that because as you can see here, Queen of Wands and the Sun, um, your energy is very receptive, uh, very powerful energy. They know that when you say you're going to get something done, you definitely get it done. Um, very happy type of energy, but we also have the eight of cups and the eight of cups is doubting or thinking or wanting to walk away from the situation or walk away, um, being disconnected. Basically, it's like you're at work, but you're not really present. Um, and that is definitely something that they've been either noticing or, or kind of like, um, they're very aware of that. They're aware that you're not as present as you were at some point. For some of you guys, you are at the, uh, what I'm hearing for some of you guys, it's like you've been told already, <laughs> you cannot be absent or you cannot miss anymore. Um, and I see you like really trying to come back or bounce back. Uh, however, they are telling you here with the eight of cups, watch your energy, Gemini, because I feel like you're very depleted. Your energy is very, like very low energy, as you can see up here, very strong, high energy. And then Eight of Cups, they, they're kind of debating if they should, um, if you're the ones that have been missing or just haven't been doing numbers or doing what you're supposed to be doing, um, just be aware that they are kind of debating um, whether they should keep you or whether they should let you go. Um, and I feel like it, it it's something that has transpired and it's something that, it's almost like the last two, three months, um, something happened there. And, I, and I'm hearing for some of you guys, like you, you feel burnt out. Um, so my advice to you guys is, again, I would definitely encourage you guys to get a cleansing. 
uh, to help you raise your vibration. Um, sometimes, you know, we do have other things that go on in our lives and it, you know, family, friends, etc., relationships, sometimes when we're going through difficulties, it really does deplete our energy and it's really difficult for us to, um, to concentrate. For some of you guys, it could be that you are coming out of a relationship and they're starting to notice that it's affecting your work. So be mindful of that. Now, what they're showing me here is the advice for you is the Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords and the Queen of Swords. And what they're telling you here is learn to disconnect your private life from your professional life, Gemini. Uh, like I said, I completely understand. Sometimes we go through difficulties and it's really hard to shake that off, right? Because it affects us. But what they're telling you here is you have to do the best you can to maintain your focus. You're a very strong person and you're able to overcome. The more you overthink or overanalyze about a situation, the more you're empowering that situation. So if it's a negative situation for you, it's like you're putting into the universe that you want more of that. Five of Swords does indicate, again, um, having the need to be less confrontational or having the need to be, um, don't be very quick and hasty into reacting. Um, because I feel like for some of you guys, people could be trying you at work. Um, and I feel like greatly for some of you guys, it's connected to your, prof uh, sorry, to your personal life. What they're telling you here is Gemini queen of swords is be methodical, uh, be cold, in the sense of disconnect yourself completely from your personal and professional life. Now, if you're the type of Gemini that likes to tell your friends or coworkers at work, your personal business, try to keep that to yourself right now because I feel like um, that is just like a door to creating more like uh, drama in the workplace. Um, and what they're telling you here is, again, try the best you can to really work on your energy and raising your vibration and also keeping to yourself or being a little bit more private about your personal life because I feel right now your personal life is very intertwined with your professional life or your professional life is taking a hit because of what you're going through emotionally. So that's the advice for you. Okay, my lovelies. All right, now let's go to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer here. If you guys like these readings, definitely like, share, and comment. Let me know and we will continue to provide these readings for you guys. All right, Cancer, I'm going to put it back. All right, Spirits, what are the messages for Cancers? How does their boss or higher management sees them? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does their boss or higher management sees them? And if you can please give me their advice cards as well. Here we go. All right, Cancer, first card here we have is the Ten of Swords. Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Oof. Okay. Now, your advice cards, Judgment, the Fool card, Two of Cups. All right. I'm going to be honest with you guys, Cancer. If you are dealing with a situation where you feel very uncomfortable in the position or in the job or business that you're doing, what they're telling you is that it's time to expand. It's time to grow. Um... Do not put yourself in a box. Ten of Swords indicates there is an ending or a cycle that is ending. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're coming out of either you've been off work. For some of you guys, it could be that you could have recently got laid off. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you just been struggling, um, you know, just not, it's not working out for you. Um, but with the Queen of Pentacles, it does indicate to me that there is opportunities outside of where you're at right now that you're not seeing or you're you're not you're not taking that plunge uh ten of swords again it's an ending cycle i feel like your bosses or higher management um are really debating uh debating if you know if this is something that is going to be continual then they're definitely really I'm going to be honest with you guys. I feel like for some of you guys, you recently got um, either laid off, you got fired. Uh, for others of you, it could be that you're coming out of that. Um, but what they are telling you here is, again, as I see two cards here with the pentacles, 
opportunities and finances are out there. If you're stuck in a low end job, a job that's not taking you anywhere, a job where they're just not appreciating you, the reason why you're feeling so frustrated right now, Cancer, the reason why you feel so like you've had it and you just can't take it anymore in regards to that job is because they want you to expand. They want you to go out there and look for something better. Why do we say this? Because pentacles are there indicating finances and possibilities for finances and stability is there. However, there's a refusal of something here with the Ten of Swords. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're just you know, living day by day. And what they're telling you is you are shrinking yourself um, because of how you feel of the current situation or circumstance. Now, your advice card here is judgment. You have to make a decision. If you're unhappy at the job where you're working or you feel like they just make you feel miserable or it's not enough to maintain your bills, to maintain your rent, to basically take care of yourself, it's time for you to get out of that comfort zone. The judgment is making that decision that needs to happen in order to finally open up a new opportunity. The fool is always new beginnings. It is always uh, really setting out and being spontaneous. Um, the Ten of Swords is very opposite of the full card, but it does indicate that you're at a pivotal moment right now where based on the decisions that you make moving forward are going to highly affect for positive or negative in the next coming months. So again, the fool is inviting you to take a chance to believe in yourself, to know what it is that you want. And if you feel like you're just not in it at this job or in this position, it's time for you to expand your wings. It's time for you to start, you know, going, doing different interviews, putting yourself out there. The more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities you're going to have. And with the two of cups is trusting yourself and trusting in spirit because they are guiding you. And for those of you guys that uh, have been, you know, struggling particularly with this job and you're scared of leaving the job because whatever money you're making, it's like keeping you afloat. What they're telling you is you have to believe in yourself, Cancer. Two of Cups is an indication of happiness or finding a job that is much more better suited for you, a job that doesn't deplete your energy and a job where the energy or the environment is very, um, it's very healthy. So again, what they're telling you is really put yourself out there and don't be scared of trying new things, okay? Now, I am also hearing for some of you guys that have been struggling. As an example, if you've been struggling to try to get a job and you just haven't been able to get one, in the next, I want to say from now, August, all the way to probably the middle of September, there's going to be opportunities coming your way. There is particularly two that will be coming your way and you will uh, definitely hear back from them. So don't get discouraged, okay? All right, now let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo. How does their boss or higher management see Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. How are they being viewed? Okay, one more shuffle. Give me their advice card as well. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Five of Cups. All right. Advice card here, Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands. Okay. And um, yeah, I seen the Nine of Cups. Okay, so they definitely know that you're a very hard worker. Um, your energy is almost like they see you as a no fuckery type of person, right? When you go to work, you go to work and you make it work. Um, they see you very much to the point, very grounded, like uh, you know what you're doing. Um, King of Pentacles does indicate a bit of, for some of you guys, you've been in this position or in this job for a very long time and you know the ins and outs. Um, I see you very meticulous at what you're doing. You don't take it very easily. You take it very seriously because you feel like whatever work you put out is a reflection of yourself. So I see them seeing you as a very hard worker, a person that is really puts in the work. Five of Cups, though, it does indicate to me for some of you guys, 
um, it's almost like they feel like they feel like you're aware that you're, they haven't appreciated your work the way they should have. Now, for some of you guys, um, especially for those of you guys that recently are in the talks or have interviewed for other jobs or have been trying to spread your wings, I feel them feeling like the pressure is on either because they've realized that you're looking or they've realized that something is not quite 100% with you. Uh, in regards to the satisfaction of the work that you're doing. Uh, it has nothing to do with your productivity. It has nothing to do with like missing or anything like that. But I feel them like really realizing um, the major changes. As an example, like for some of you guys, it could be that, you know, you are trying to figure out where you're at right now if you want to continue growing in this business or in the field that you're doing. Um so they, I see options is what I'm hearing. But with this Five of Cups, I feel like they feel that there was something that they, they could have done or they could have approached the situation very differently. And there is almost like a feeling of like regret or fear that they don't want to lose you. Um, now, if you're not connecting with this, for some of you guys, it could be that in the very near future, in the next coming weeks or even month, uh, there could be a position or an opportunity that comes your way, but it's not through this business or where you're working at. And I feel like the pressure is going to be on because they're going to, you know, be concerned about you leaving or looking for something else. Um, and again, I feel like they are wanting or they will be trying uh, to get on your good graces. Perhaps for some of you guys, it's an unexpected promotion or unexpected raise because they don't want to lose you. Or they've noticed that there is a very different dynamic when you're not around or when you're not as present. And I feel like that's why they're noticing. Um, but now they're feeling like I should have appreciated Leo a little bit better. Or what can we do to kind of work it out and, and make them uh, continue putting as much effort as they did at some point. Now, the advice here for you guys is Five of Swords is indicating to me Again, almost like a duality, a feeling of like uh, being pulled towards different directions. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that currently work at a company and you've been debating or thinking if you should start your own business, what Spirit is telling you is take the plunge, start that business, start putting effort or energy towards making money through other means because the 10 of pentacles and the knight of wands is like money is there for you, babe. But you got to be like, get out of that, you know, fear of what if it doesn't work out? What if it's not the right time type of thing? For some of you guys, it could be exactly that, that you're actually starting a business or wanting to start a business. And maybe you've expressed it. Maybe you've, you know, with colleagues, with coworkers, um, and it's gotten to upper management and they're like, oh shit, we don't want Leo to go nowhere. Um, so again, I feel like what they're telling you here is don't hold back because of comfortableness or, uh, of course, be methodical about it. Um, and when I say methodical, as an example, stay where you're at, but it doesn't keep you from starting your own business. When your own business starts to flourish or starts to grow and you feel like you have to make a decision, then you make the decision of where more money's coming in basically and where you're most comfortable. Um, so for those of you guys that are thinking or wanting to start your own business, now is the time to do so. Stop debating. Like now is the perfect time. You're never going to find a perfect time and you're just wasting your time. All right, my lovelies. All righty. Now let's go to Virgo. Okay. Let's see. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, oh, I'm going to put it back in. Okay. Oh, we got cards flying. Okay. All right. How do Virgos, bosses, or higher management views them? And if you can please give us the advice cards as well. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do their boss or higher management sees them? And what is the advice cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands here, the Ace of Cups, and the Empress card. Beautiful cards. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, 
So how you're being viewed, um, Virgo, you've definitely show. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have experienced a situation where they were expecting too much from you or asking too much from you. And you could have created or shown them a boundary. For some of you guys, it could have been like they were asking for too much overtime or like, can you come in this shift, this shift? And you were willing to do so, but then you got to a point where you started getting tired because they wouldn't expect or ask that to other people. Uh, so you created a boundary or you started saying no, basically. Um, you're very well received. Uh, they definitely know that you, you know, you basically do what is expected of you. Ace of Cups and the Empress is very well received, very well liked. Um, they do like your perform performance or they do vibe with you, basically. They really do get along with you. Um, for those of you Virgos out there that feel like, uh, you know, it's very difficult to, you know, to kind of figure out if your boss likes you or not. What they're telling you is be a little bit more open, be less stuck in the mud nine of wands is like very guarded um but you're very well received so again if you are the virgos that are a little bit more reserved a little bit more of an introvert um what they're telling you is be a little bit more open and you'll start to notice a very major distinctive energy between you and your bosses or higher management uh it could be that they start to um you know tell you a bit of their personal life or they start to open up or they start to bring you Starbucks or they invite you to lunch type of thing. Um, only because I, I feel like for some of you guys, you're feeling like you're not that like, you know, that um, like you don't vibe that good with your with your bosses or with higher management. But the reason for it is because you come off a bit shy or a bit closed off. So what they're telling you is open up a little bit and you will start to notice that they start to treat you very different in a positive way. Now, the advice here is seven of pentacles. Keep putting effort and energy towards what you're doing. There is going to be a bit of, and that's if you're not already experiencing, there's like a pickup that's going to be happening for some of you guys. It could be that perhaps uh, work started, you know, getting a little bit slow. Four of swords does indicate having the need to really take care of yourself, uh, Virgo. Um, if you've been overworked in the past, learn to, again, for some of you guys, learn to say no sometimes if they're expecting to uh, do overtime or work on different schedules or to cover, you know, someone. Uh, learn to say no sometimes it's necessary because they are telling you to uh, be careful about your health. Now, however, I do see that there's going to be a pickup coming up. So it could be from now all the way to October where things start to get a bit more fast paced. So again, if you feel a little bit like low energy ground yourself, do meditation, uh, sleep well, you know, don't, don't, don't go sleeping three hours like myself. <laughs> Try to get at least your eight hours of sleep, uh, because things are going to be picking up rather quickly and you may feel like you're trying to catch up. So that is the message for you. Okay. And I get it. Sometimes when you feel like things are picking up, you want to take advantage of it. Obviously, you know, Virgos are an earth sign. You don't want to miss that opportunity, but sometimes it is necessary for you to take care of yourself as well um, and sleeping uh, or resting because trust me when I tell you, it does catch up. All right. All right. Now let's go with Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libras. How are Libras viewed by their bosses or higher management? And if you can please give us the advice card as well. How is Libra viewed? And the advice card. How are Libras viewed by their boss or higher management? And what is the advice? All right, here we go, Libra. You have the Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Wands. Wow, nothing but fire energy here. All right, the advice, Two of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, the moon card. Mm, interesting. Libra, are you fucking around at work? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, so the way they're viewing you, they definitely see that you are a hard worker or lately have been picking up a bit of slack. Uh, you are very focused, very, you know, doing what you're supposed to do or doing what is expected of you. 
For some of you guys, there is a race coming up or they are in the works or in the talk about giving you a raise or offering you a higher level position. Um, for some of you guys, you may be aware of it. For some of you guys, it could come as a surprise. However, I do feel that this is definitely a good thing because you're very well received and they definitely see the effort and energy that you put into your work, which is why they're talking about giving you a raise or giving you some type of promotion. But I feel that you're going to be a bit challenged. Okay, now for some of you guys, the advice here with the Two of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, it is about really thinking about what it is that you want from this company or this career that you've chosen. Um, because the Two of Swords is almost like an indication of having the need to tune into yourself, trying to figure out if this is what's right for you. Um, I feel very strongly because this is nothing but fire energy. I feel like this is coming to you and it's coming to you quick and unexpected. You may be excited. You may be excited about the pay. You may be excited about the position um, or just them giving you more responsibilities, obviously with a pay difference. And I feel like at first you may be very excited about it and you're definitely down for it. But I feel like there is almost like a need for you to take a breather and to really analyze, because with the Queen of Pentacles and Two of Swords and the Moon, it's like you're going to get a little bit overwhelmed and you may be challenged in the month of October. Uh, as an example, if you do get a higher position and they're going to pay you more, you may be very excited, but the person that is managing you or the person that's going to be above you may change from the one that you're dealing with right now and they may have higher expectations. So it's almost a feeling of like feeling very emotional or feeling like you're very frustrated because they're very strict or rigid in comparison to what you're used to working with. However, Queen of Pentacles does indicate having the strength, the endurance or the knowledge to it's kind of like a situation of wanting to get the higher position because they're going to pay you more. Then you get into it and then you have, you know, uh, a boss or someone that's watching over you that is more rigid, more serious, more strict. And you don't really necessarily know the ins and outs about that new position and they're not really cooperating and helping you. So that may be the challenge. However, again, like I said, Queen of Pentacles does indicate having the possibility, the wisdom, just be patient. You will learn the ins and outs in due time. Don't try to rush yourself. And, um, like I said, try the best you can to figure out, you know, do you really want to take that position? Not that it's going to be a bad position. I'm just seeing a little bit of obstacles along the way and frustration. So keep yourself grounded. Focus on the bigger picture. If you do take this promotion or if you do get this higher pay with more responsibilities, um, look at the bigger picture. Like I said, don't focus on the minute details that may be a little bit challenging on the everyday life initially in the beginning, okay? All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Scorpio. All right, let's see what's going on with Scorpio here. How are they being viewed by their bosses or higher management? And please give us the advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are they being viewed by management or higher management? And what is the advice for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, here we go, Scorpio. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, okay. The advice, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords, Ace of Wands. Interesting, okay. So, they definitely admire you, Scorpio. For some of you guys, too, of Pentacles, it could have been a bit of a difficult or challenging situation at work. However, you're finding the balance and Six of Swords does indicate um, you've really pulled, you know, what's really standing out to me, as you can see here, there are strings that are connected to the birds that are pulling the boat, right? And it's almost like, it's almost like, carrying or pulling the weight of others and it's almost like for some of you guys it could have been that they had this specific you know perception of you Scorpio and somehow along the way you've proven them wrong 
You've proven them that you can carry your weight. You've proven to them beyond their expectations of you. And they are definitely willing and wanting to help you grow. They are definitely wanting to see you succeed because it's almost like a reflection to them and their management. Um, for some of you guys, the month of October, sorry, the month of September is definitely going to bring to you guys a new opportunity. For some of you guys, you're being handed a new position. For others of you, you're being offered a higher ranking position with major responsibilities, but it's going to be so worth it um, because the pay is going to be, you deserve it. Good job for you, Scorpio, um, because I feel like it hasn't, it has not been easy for you. But I feel like you're just in the beginning stages of continual growth with what you're doing right now. Now, for others of you, if you still are like being challenged or feeling like, you know, they're kind of a pain in the ass, prove to them. Let that, you know, frustration, uh, maybe even anger sometimes feel your being to prove them wrong because you're going to so prove them wrong, Scorpio, and they're going to be like in awe. I see other people around you like looking at you or really like admiring what you're doing or even looking up to you. For some of you guys, it for some of you guys, it could be an offer of training other people, of taking it to the next level. And it's like you're being given you're being given this opportunity because not only have you put in the work. But for others of you, it can also represent like you've really proven yourself, like you've gone above and beyond and you keep going up the ladder and do not fucking stop, Scorpio. Do not stop for anything because I see major changes here. You have two aces. So again, there is an offer. There is a higher level position. There is money to be made. Definitely, definitely keep on the route that you're at right now. Now, the advice here, Queen of Wands, be aggressive in what you're doing. Be confident in yourself. Um, whenever you're being a little bit challenged, don't let that intimidate you. Even people around you, as an example, could be that you're being offered a position or an opportunity to train under someone, but in reality, they're trying to train you so that you can surpass that somebody. Because I feel somebody in their feelings and you're feeling frustrated about it. You're feeling like, oh, I don't, I don't know, like, you know, am I really learning from them or are they like teaching me half, half what they're supposed to teach me because they don't want me to surpass them, but you're smart and you got this Scorpio. So if that is the situation, don't be discouraged. Keep on keeping on because I see the month of September, even October being really good for you guys. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. How does their boss or higher management see Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does their boss or higher management see them? And what is the advice for Sagittarius? One more shuffle. Okay, here we go. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Oof. Ace of Wands. Six of Swords. All right. The advice, two of swords. You guys see me shuffling the cards and it's like the, the same cards are coming out <laughs> in different positions, but all right. Powerful cards here, you guys. Okay. So what they're showing me is major beginnings for you Sagittarians. So they're definitely viewing you as being a little bit more motivated than usual. They see the hard work and determination that you put into your work. There are... I feel for some of you guys, you're dealing with two people that are in higher management or it could be like you have two bosses, like they are partners, um, partners in, in the business. I mean, for others of you, it could be that there is a a group of, ma of higher management that is in charge of promotions, that is in charge of growth, growth within the company. Um, because I see two different energies around you and you are very well received on both aspects. Um, I see one particularly that is really wanting to teach you, uh, that is really wanting to guide you. So if there's been a change in the past couple of weeks, Sagittarius, where someone else is overlooking you or someone else is you're working, you know, cl in close proximity with, 
I feel like this person is, their work ethic is very admirable. And my advice to you is soak all of that shit in like a sponge because that's going to open a lot of doors for you, a lot of connections. It could be that they even introduce you to, you know, higher, higher management that can, you know, definitely make it easier for you to keep growing. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you recently went from one job to another. Um, there could have been some type of transition. In this transition, there is definitely a lot of opportunities for growth and advancement. Now, the advice card here for you guys, Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands, is stop doubting your possibilities or capabilities, Sagittarius. You got this. I see you constantly like, like talking to yourself, you know, <laughs> You know, if you're weird like me and you have a tendency of talking to yourself sometimes, uh, I see you guys really like talking, talking down on you guys like, oh, my God, I'm so stupid or, oh, my God, I shouldn't have done that. Or, you know, I can't do this or it's frustrating. Like, stop that negative self-talk, Sagittarius. If anything, pump yourself up because there's major changes that are coming to your finances and there is a wish fulfillment for a lot of you guys. So something you've been hoping for or wanting um, and it just hasn't happened yet, don't worry because you're on the path to that and the manifestation will definitely happen for you. Um, again, believe more in yourself and be more confident. Um, I don't want to ever listen to me, Sagittarius. I don't ever want you to say that you're stupid or that you're dumb or that you can't do something. Because what, by you saying that, you've already accepted that as a reality and it is not a reality. It is your limited beliefs. And if you, right, if you are aware of what is coming, because obviously I am communicating that to you, accept it as a reality and know that when these opportunities show up or when they start to come up in your life or in your life, rise to the occasion because you're very capable and you have drawn this to you or you have manifested this okay all right my lovelies now let's go to capricorn let's see what's going on with capricorn how do their boss or higher management sees capricorn sun moon rising venus how are they being seen by their boss or higher management capricorn sun moon rising venus Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. I'm going to... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more. Here we go. Okay. Capricorn. We have the Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, King of Cups. What the hell is going on with you, Capricorn? You have the devil, ten, I'm sorry, six of cups, and the magician. Exactly what I just said. What the hell is going on with you, Capricorn? What the hell is happening? So what they're showing me here is they are, they're definitely aware of your capabilities. They know your strengths. They know that you can, if as an example, if you deal with clients or customers or the public, they definitely know that you can draw in the cloud, the crowd. I said the cloud. <laughs> they definitely know and are aware that you can draw in the crowd. They understand that you are meticulous at what you do and you take your job very seriously. King of Cups does indicate to me feeling like they are seeing you a little bit. There is something that is that they're being shown that is not necessarily a trait that they would see in you. And I'm talking about a weakness. So for some of you guys, you've been very much in your head. You've been feeling stuck or you've been feeling like things haven't been going your way. And perhaps you vent to your boss or perhaps you've, you know, mentioned or commented something about what's going on in your life that leads them to believe you're a little bit emotional right now and you're not very much centered or you're not necessarily in the, the, the same state of mind that you usually are, which is focused and determined. Um, however, six of wands and the king of cups, what they're telling you here is this is in your freaking head, <laughs> Capricorn, the restrictions that you feel or that you're experiencing is very much in your head at eight of swords. First of all, swords are always the intellect, the mind, right? Eight of swords is feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move forward. 
and that is how you're seeing yourself, but how you really are, you're free. You're not attached to anything. What I mean by that is there's no restrictions. Six of Wands is, you know, powerful energy. This is about the Six of Wands in... It, it, in essence, it is the representation of the chariot cart in the major arcana. Um, so what does that indicate? That you can succeed, that you can grow, that you can achieve whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve. But there is doubt there. And they've either understood that or they've recently have been seeing that about you. So my advice is if you are going through situations on your personal level, keep your personal life separate from your professional because they are definitely noticing that. Okay. Sometimes we have, you know, this when you're going through a lot of stuff and you admire someone or respect someone as Capricorns usually do with their bosses or higher management or people that are above us um, because you respect the fact that they are in that position, right? Because they've earned it or because they've worked for it or whatever the situation is. Sometimes you go to them to try to get advice. Um, unfortunately, that's not always a good thing, even if they are friends, even if they see you, because I do see a connection. So for some of you guys, you guys do get along with your bosses. Uh, and I get it. Sometimes, you know, you vent or you express what you're going through, etc. And this is not necessarily a good thing because, again, they're telling me they are aware of your strengths as well as your weaknesses. Or maybe they've realized that you have a specific weakness that has to do with if you're not happy in your home or relationship wise, or, you know, it's a bit chaotic right now in your life is definitely affecting your work. So you don't want that. <laughs> you definitely don't want that. What is your advice card? The advice card is here, my lovely. Look, this is your card, the devil card. This is you Capricorn, knowing that you are powerful, knowing that you are capable of doing and achieving whatever it is that you want. You have the six of cups here, right? Six of Cups is that of aligning yourself to your purpose. It is about reconnecting or um, it's almost like revisiting the past. But in the aspect of you've manifested a lot of things in your life, I feel like right now you're being challenged. But they're telling you to remember that you've manifested a lot of things in your life and you're more than capable of doing so again. Six of Cups is revisit a situation or revisit uh, the understanding of your power and the manifestation powers that you have. So again, whatever it is that's happening right now in regards to your career finances or if you're struggling or if there is difficulties in your relationship and it is affecting you and your work performance, know and understand that the more you focus the negative, the more negative you will experience. You have you know this. I don't need to tell you because these cards here are telling me you know the power that lies within you. You just need to practice or you need to go back to uh, revisiting a situation or a circumstance that made you feel very confident and how the outcome of that feeling brought to you a lot of opportunities because the opportunities are there. You're the only one that's not seeing them right now, but they're definitely there. And you have the power to manifest or to bring to you the abundance, the success, the notoriety. But you got to you got to work on rebuilding your confidence, Capricorn. I feel like right now you guys are being you and Aquarius are definitely being challenged. Um, but what they're telling you here is rise to the occasion. Know who you are. Know what you're capable of doing, and really laser focus on what you're trying to draw in, and you will definitely experience that. You will definitely manifest that, okay? All right. Now let's go to Aquarius. All right. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. How do their boss or higher management sees them? How does their boss or higher management see them? And what is the advice for Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do their boss or higher management sees them? And what are the advices for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, there we go. All right, we have the Four of Swords, Page of Swords, and Temperance. Oof, okay. 
the your advice is the lovers the sun page of wands okay aquarius i feel that you are feeling very restricted you are feeling blocked you're feeling like you don't know what to do for some of you guys you as an example for those of you guys that went to college for a specific trade a specific career I feel like you guys are rethinking for some of you guys there could have been a change a change in career a change in the field that you were studying or that you were trying to master um, for others of you guys I see you really debating if you should continue where you're at or if you should move on from that temperance does indicate you know taking the time uh, and I feel like with the four of swords you're to the point of exhaustion uh, you've, you're to the point of being very disconnected, uh, having the need to rest or to clear your mind in order to uh, get more clarity. Page of Swords is, you know, taking action uh, forcefully. And because temperance is here is the, the lack of, the lack of taking action. Now, your advice cards here is the lovers. You're at crossroads right now. There is a decision to be made. The sun. The sun is at the end of the tunnel. What they're showing me here is if you have been, as an example, if you've been working at this place or this been doing this position for a very long time, you've gone unnoticed. There is no growth. There is no advancement. Don't sit there and wait out another five years, Aquarius. Do what you have to do to expand yourself to expand your wings there is almost this connection of like you're at the point where you've mastered what you're doing but i feel like you're not challenged anymore because you've been doing that for a very long time and they're not really helping or at least you've reached the cap of how much you're able to grow in that particular situation business or career so what they're telling you is the lover's card is being at crossroads. It is having the need to, to take a step back and to realize, okay, I've been in this position for this long. I'm not being challenged. I'm not getting raises. I'm not being noticed. But yet you sit there and complain. And what Spirit is telling you is you always have the choice of instead of going left, making a right and seeing what is around the corner or seeing what other opportunities are out there or what other possibilities are out there for some of you guys you've been debating whether you should move either career or even location with the sun card again there is joy to be to be experienced there is happening there is happening there is a blessing that's coming your way that for some of you guys it could be unexpected and i feel that it's not so much the the unexpected is that you didn't plan it but this has been long in the making. There is a shakeup that needs to happen with you guys. Page of Wands does indicate taking on a new journey, setting out for some of you guys. Travel is involved. Like I said, I do see some of you guys taking a taking a shot in a different in a different career, a different like a different move that's happening here. Can't really put my finger on it. It's almost like I'm seeing for a lot of you guys. You've been in the same career for a long time and out of nowhere you just you're over it and you're thinking if you should get into something else or a different field or maybe even the same company just different department and what they're telling you here is now is the time to do so lovers is having the need to make that decision being at crossroads the change can only come through doing something different and the sun is unexpected blessing that's coming your way that is going to put you on a different path that is going to put you in a different position or a different career or even relocating for some of you guys. But again, the change needs to happen and it's time for you to embrace it. Stop being scared that things are going to change. They're obviously going to change, but it's going to be for the best, Aquarius, because I feel like you've been restrict restricted long enough. Um, think big, you know. Right now, what they're telling you is think of all the possibilities and what you're really capable of doing. For some of you guys, like I said, it's like, it's almost like, it's not so much about finances, what I'm sensing. I feel like it just, it just feels like you're over it. It just feels like you want change. You want something different. And again, they're telling you, 
blessings are coming your way opportunities are coming your way a new journey a new path comes th to you through change all right all right my lovelies now let's go to pisces all right pisces sun moon rising venus pisces sun moon rising venus how do their boss or higher management sees them and what is the advice card for pisces how do their boss or higher management sees Pisces? Give me the advice card for Pisces as well. Okay, one more. All right, here we go, Pisces. We have the High Priestess, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups. Beautiful energy. Wow. All right. The advice, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, knight of wands. Beautiful energy, Pisces. Amazing energy, actually. All right. So there is definitely a connection that you have with your higher management or with your boss. Uh, they are definitely very receptive energy. It's like they admire or they respect your work ethic and what you bring to the table. They're very content, to say the least. Eight of Wands does indicate um, they see you as a very smart person or someone that picks up rather quickly. They see you as even, <laughs> you know, they see you even like extremely knowledgeable, even if you lied your way to that position. So what I mean by that is for some of you guys, it could have been that you started in that job or in that position, um, maybe exaggerating just a little bit, kind of like the situation of, you know, oh, do you have experience in this and this and that? And you had experience, as an example, um, in certain aspects of the position, but in other um, other requirements that they asked that you should have experience on, maybe you didn't have much experience or no experience at all. Um, but along the way, you definitely learned. You, de you learned very quickly and... Uh, it's almost like a white lie. There, there's something that's connected to it that makes me laugh because it's almost like when you exaggerate just a little bit <laughs> about what your experience is, your education, or what you're capable of doing. However, this energy is very, very receptive energy. This is very harmonious, very balanced type of energy. This is amazing energy because I definitely love to see this type of energy when we're talking about work environments and how you're being viewed because they definitely see you as a person that is very knowledgeable, a person that is a very fast learner, someone that doesn't just sit there like you are okay with like, you know, um, you're very good with like getting your hands dirty type of thing, um, metaphorically speaking, um, although for some, maybe not. <laughs> but it's almost like uh, they know, they know that you are very smart uh, that you're a very quick learner and they are definitely happy to help you or to push you uh, continue growing and advancing in this career or in this position. The advice card here for you, Pisces Nine of Cups, is happiness. It is about um, what you've wished for or what you've been wishing for is definitely going to come through for you. For some of you guys, there is an unexpected raise that's coming um, maybe you recently got a raise and then you're getting a raise again and it comes very unexpectedly, very suddenly. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is definitely financial stability and growth. Um, and the Knight of Wands is definitely uh, taking charge and making things happen. So what they're telling you here is uh, it's okay to be blessed. It's okay to experience contentment. Sometimes that's necessary, unfortunately, for us humans, right? We have a tendency of being negative. And when things are going good, you're like in back of your head thinking like, oh, my God, is something going to go wrong? Is it, you know, it's too good to be true. No, it, it's OK to experience what you deserve because you've been putting effort and you've been really working hard towards making that or achieving certain goals that you've set out um, to do. And you're definitely hitting the mark, Pisces. I feel like for a lot of you guys, the month of September and October is going to be very exciting because there is major uh, growth, 
stability and new experiences that you're going to be going through in the next couple of weeks or month, like I said, all the way to October. Um, but yeah, very beautiful energy here, Pisces. For some of you guys, you could have came out of a negative situation. Those of you guys that recently started a new job. Um, and this is a very much harmonious type of energy. So this is the best uh, work or position that you could have gotten at this point in time. Good job, Pisces. All right. So we're going to run down through all the signs for those of you guys that are uh, entrepreneurs or run your own businesses. We're going to do it a little bit uh, different. I'm going to pull out one card for how you're viewed or how you are seen um, by your clients, by your customers, by the public. And we're going to pull out another card that is going to be your advice. OK, so we're going to start off here with Aries. Let's see how is Aries seen or viewed by the public, by their clients. And give me the advice for Aries as well. All right. Here we go. Okay, five of wands. They definitely uh, see you very dynamic. Uh, your energy is very, very dynamic. Um, they definitely see you as a bit of, um, I wouldn't necessarily say aggressive, but they definitely sense um, like you don't take no shit from no one. Um, you may want to work on being a little bit more subtle with that. Yeah, justice, balance. Um, only because obviously as... So as an example, and this is not necessarily a negative thing, five of wands, how they view you uh, could indicate a very dynamic type of personality, right? The, the type of person that takes no bullshit, which is good. Um, but how the public views you or how your energy is being rece uh, received is not necessarily a good thing because there is something about you that is very like overpowering or too strong and you want to be likable. Um, so with the justice card here, there is a need for balance or there is a need for you to, uh, separate your, you know, separate who you really are from how you're portraying yourself to the world. Because like I said, you want to be well liked. Why? Because that creates more, it brings to you more business. It brings to you more clients. It brings to you more opportunities. Okay. So now let's go with. Now let's go with Taurus. Oh, I'm going to put it back. Okay. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are they viewed by the public, by their clients, by their customers? And give me the advice for Taurus. Okay. Here we go. Taurus, Four of Swords, and Three of Pentacles. Okay. So they see you very detached. Uh, they see you very much to yourself, Taurus. Um, perhaps a bit, a little bit too much of an introvert, um, or very guarded. And what the advice is for you here with the three of pentacles, you have to understand that sometimes it's necessary to open up just a tad bit so that people can connect with you because that's how people relate to you. And in doing that, working with them instead of feeling, um, the difference with, as an example, the difference with Aries, right? Um, what would be that instead of working like feeling that you have to change your personality right um is not necessarily something that you need to do it's okay to be an introvert or it's okay to be like you know protect your personal personality business is business and very earthly energy by the way um but you also don't want to be too guarded or you also don't want to be too private because there's a disconnect there and three of pentacles is that of working in collaboration, but also it speaks about connecting and being able to connect. And in this connection, you're able to draw in more, more finances. You're able to draw in more clients. You're able to draw in more. So show a little bit of your personality, Taurus, is what they're saying. Okay. All right. Now let's go to Gemini. How is Gemini viewed by the public, their clients or customers? And give me the advice as well. Like I said, if you guys like these readings, definitely comment, like, let me know so that we can continue doing these readings for you guys. All right. Wait, who did I do? That was Taurus. Okay, Gemini. All right, Gemini. How is Gemini viewed by the public, their clients, customers? And give me the advice for Gemini as well. 
Okay, here we go. Eight of Wands and the advice. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So one of the things that comes across is they definitely see you as a very dynamic. Your personality is definitely very vibes type of energy. Eight of Wands is definitely being able to draw in a lot of attention because of your charismatic personality. Nine of Pentacles here, the advice card here is put a little bit more Put a little bit more wor more worth into what you do, Gemini. Um, so for what I'm sensing here is sometimes uh, when we get a lot of opportunities, right, we're quick to take them or um, take those opportunities because you're scared that it's going to slow down or that business is going to slow down, etc. But what they're telling with the Nine of Pentacles is know your worth. So if there is a service or a product or something that you're selling, um, what they're telling you is value that a little bit more. Um, for those of you guys that are just starting, for example, um, don't let people lowball you, uh, just so that you can make that sell, know the worth and the energy and the effort that you put into it and, uh, be stick to that pricing. Like don't let other people make you feel like they should pay you less, um, because it, it's worth more than that basically is what they're saying. So know your worth or know what you're bringing to the table for some of you guys, if you've been in the business or, you know, your, sorry, your business for a very long time and you've been doing it for a long time and you're financially stable, uh, what they're telling you is find, like, try to tap into why you started because what they're showing me here is very quick momentum and the opportunity to continue growing. Nine of Pentacles can also indicate that you are, you know, you feel very secure, you feel very financially stable and in that comfortability, sometimes we become very complacent. So there is a need to tap into this energy, tap into the dynamic, the, the passion, the drive uh, to keep you motivated. Okay. All right. Now let's go to Cancer. Okay. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are they seen by the public, clients, or customers? And give me the advice for Cancer as well. Here we go, Cancer. All right. Here we go. Seven of Swords. Oof. Seven of Cups. Two Sevens. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to be honest with you, Cancer. I feel like you're very disconnected with your customers, your clientele. Um, I feel like they feel like you're not necessarily honest or like you hide certain aspects of yourself or certain aspects of what you're selling or what you're providing. Like you're not completely honest or transparent. And the advice here with the Seven of Cups is... So as an example, if you are in the business of providing a service and in that, in providing that service, there's almost this feeling like you're not providing the best quality or the best service that you can provide only because you have a lot of things that you're focusing on. So what they're telling you is focus primarily in one thing. Or as an example, if you have seven things to that you're selling or that you're doing or that you're giving, um, focus primarily on the, on that which is actually selling or that which is actually bringing you business. Focus primarily on that. It's almost like I see you as like the jack of all trades or the wanting to be jack of all trades. And in the wanting to be all jack or, or oh, jack of all trades in wanting to be that, um, you don't really master anything because there's a lot that you want to tap into. And Seven of Cups is very scattered energy. So for some of you guys, there's been like a decline in your finances or perhaps you're not doing as well as you could be. And the reason is because you're not pushing the product or the service that you are actually really good at because you're wanting to do all these other things. Um, as an example, if you're an influencer, right, and you want to uh, do blogs and you want to sell products and you want, like, I see you all over the place and what they're telling you, you're coming off as 
uh, very insincere and not necessarily the negative, like the insincere of like you're a liar or no, I mean insincere in what you're trying to sell or you're trying to provide the service you're trying to provide. So what they're telling you is instead of doing many of all things, focus primarily on the one thing that is going good or that is selling or that people are wanting. Focus on that. Really put your energy and effort towards that because I feel like you're wanting to do a lot of things and in that a lot of things there is scattered energy and it is not necessarily a good thing. Um, however, if you do break it down and focus primarily on something that you're really passionate or that you're selling a lot, that's what you should be pushing, okay? All right, now let's go to Leo. How is Leo viewed? How does the public, how does the public see Leo? Public clients, customers, and what is the advice for Leo? All right, here we go. Eight, oh, sorry, five of cups and the magician card, okay. So, hmm. I feel like you're very distracted, uh, Leo. Um, so it could be that recently, and, and I'm noticing like the probably like the past three months or so, um, I feel like your client, your clients, your customers, the public are seeing you a bit, um, uh, a bit disorganized, a bit not present. Um, as an example, if it is a service that you provide or a product that you provide, and the as an example, there was wrong shipments or uh, the product was, it didn't get from point A to point B the way it should have, I feel that the contact or the following is not so, like you've dropped the ball, uh, basically. And what they're saying here is there is a feeling of like you are either distracted or you're not focused. Um, and they're not necessarily receiving that, obviously, in a positive way. Uh, Five of Cups can also indicate that they feel very, um, I don't want to say, but it almost feels like dissatisfied. Um and the advice here is the magician and the magician is, it could be for some of you guys, Leos, if you started a business and you've been feeling a bit discouraged or you've been feeling like things are not picking up or they're not going as good as you would have hoped, the magician card is here to tell you that you need to believe more in yourself. You need to believe in yourself and put as much effort as possible without doubt or hesitation that you will succeed. Why? Because the magician is a representation of the materialization, right? What you've been hoping, what you've been wanting. And even though for some of you guys, there could have been like a small delay or a small setback, uh, you have to learn to understand that sometimes things happen because that's going to teach us. There is something, uh, there could have been like a missed opportunity. There could have been like maybe for some of you guys, loss of money, uh, maybe you are putting more money into the products or the service that you're providing versus what you're actually making monthly, as an example. And what they're telling you here is don't give up. Don't don't surrender. Don't be quick to say this is not working out because you've been trying to promote something or you've been trying to get your business off the ground or you've been trying to stay afloat the past couple of months believe in the power that you have to manifest and draw things to you draw clientele your business picking up it starts with your mind leo so again believe in yourself believe in your product believe in the services that you're providing and you will start to see the manifestations of that it's almost like you're right at the pivotal moment and you know what i'm gonna be honest with you leo it's almost like the sensing of usually how it feels when you're about to manifest something. So as an example, um, this is something that I always tell my clients or those that I am teaching uh, on here. Um, when you're working with manifestations, oftentimes, and I assure you, almost like 90% on the time, on the clock, right? Um, when you're about to manifest, you're challenged. Something happens where you question or doubt the path that you're on 
or what you're trying to draw to you or if you're going to fall into um, temptation or the old way of thinking. And I feel like you're at that cusp right now where there is going to be a breakthrough. But in that breakthrough, it has a lot to do with controlling your emotions and not focusing on the current situation, but focusing all your energy and effort, like laser focus on what you're manifesting or what the outcome is going to be. That's what you need to really put your energy and effort towards, okay? All right, now let's go to Virgo. How does the public, clients, or customers see Virgo? And give me the advice for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Virgo. Okay. All right, Six of Wands. King of Wands, wow. Six of Wands, you are being very well received. People are really vibing to your energy. They love your energy. Uh, they love your product or the services that you're providing. You are, and I want to say for a lot of you guys in the next coming three months, there's going to be growth or expansion for some of you guys. It could be that you're opening a second business. For others of you, it could be that you're opening a connection to that. So I'm seeing like a chain. Um, and that is just the beginning stages of your growth and materialization of financial stability. Now, the advice here is the king of wands. Uh, be a little bit more aggressive in your pursuits. Believe more in yourself and be confident. Uh, I feel like your confidence or how you view yourself is going to greatly impact how others see you in a very positive way. So put your energy and focus in knowing that you can make it happen, trusting yourself and being confident in yourself and keep doing what you're doing, Virgo. All right, now let's go to Libra. Let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How is Libra viewed by the public, their clients, or customers? And give me the advice for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Judgment, okay? So the Knight of Pentacles, how they view you, they definitely see you as a very, like you're very meticulous at what you're doing. You take your time. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that uh, the service or the products that you're selling are of very high quality and they are content. However, I feel like there is a bit of stuckness energy uh, with the judgment card here. So what they're telling you is in essence, um, Try the best you can to really put your business or your product or your service out there. Be a little bit less stuck in the mud of how you want to approach um, advertisement and be a little bit more open-minded. So when I'm hearing open-minded, it speaks to me about like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, um, TikTok as an example. Uh, there was a time uh, where TikTok was like the thing, right? And I hesitated for about a year um, because I was like, no, it's more connected to kids and I'm not really trying to get on that, you know, on that train. Um, but then I quickly realized that I was, you know, being a bit stubborn and we kind of like, you know, we're humans are a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Humans have a tendency of being very much, we don't like changes, right? Uh, we are creatures of habit and sometimes that greatly affects our business our career uh, because we have this vision of how things should go and sometimes it's not that you're not capable of making that happen libra it just means that you have to be more open in how it unfolds for you so with the judgment card here it is about making the decision to let yourself go or to go with the flow wherever you're being drawn to um, or like I said, really expressing yourself, uh, it's almost like she is, you know, releasing herself and letting herself be free. So be more open-minded, be less stuck in the mud and you will see your business, uh, start to flourish or start to pick up. Okay. All right. Now let's go with Scorpio. How does, uh, how is Scorpio viewed by the public customers or clients? And what is the advice? What is the advice for Scorpio? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm going to put them back in here. Scorpio. How is Scorpio viewed by the public, clients, or customers? And 
the advice. All right, here we go. Eight of Swords. Nine of Cups. Wow. Major contrast here, Scorpio. All right, so what they're showing me here for you guys is I feel like you try very hard to portray yourself a certain way. Um, maybe even very disconnected from who you truly are. Um, so they definitely see you as very much more reserved. Uh, they see you very much like there is some stubbornness to you, Scorpio. And I feel like you don't really show your personality. Um, when we're speaking about personality, keep in mind, this is, uh, business readings, right? So if you're an entrepreneur and you have your own business, personality is how you portray your business to be. Um, just wanted to clarify that. So with the Eight of Swords, it's almost it's almost giving me like an indication of uh, feeling like the, the they're not really receiving you because you're not being honest with yourself or you're not you're not really promoting your business the way you should be promoting it. I feel like you're focusing on something that is like. A, a very different niche than what your business is. So there's a bit of confusion there. If you feel like you've been restricted or like things haven't been pick, picking up or you're being challenged for some of you guys, release yourself from that. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's a mental state of mind. It's almost like you enslave yourself in your mind and how you want to show your product or how you want people to perceive your business or your product. And that keeps you in a box. And by keeping you in a box, it makes it more difficult for people to know about your product or to get yourself out there or to even advertise yourself in a very different light with different age groups type of thing. Um, but the possibility of growth and substantial, you know, emotional fulfillment and abundance is there. This is your advice. And as you can see here on these both these cards, it's like the girl, the girl right here is seeing herself bound, right? But the, the real you is free and unbound. So it's like, stop forcing yourself to see or view your business or your product or what you're selling a certain way, because that's just how you feel people want to see it. It's time for you to be paying attention more to the outside, meaning to what people really want. So what I'm hearing for some of you guys, it's like do your research. Or maybe you're focusing on a very different niche than what you should be focusing on. Once you're able to do that little bit of change or that shift in the way you're thinking, nine of cups is there. Abundance. Success. Sometimes, you know, being stubborn is not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> oh, all right, Scorpio. I hope you take that message seriously. All right, now let's go with Sagittarius. Here we go, Sagittarius. How does the public, customers, or clients view them? And what is the advice? Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Here we go. We have the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. They definitely see you or your product or your service as something of value. They are very aware of that it's worth it, that it's quality. Uh, it is being well received. Although I feel like for some of you guys, there could be more growth, uh, more clientele, more business, more money. Because you have the king of pentacles here. And king of pentacles is that of financial stability. It is of knowing and seeing the prize and materializing that into existence. It is being able to get to a point of feeling financially stable. Now, what I will say is with the four of pentacles, it's almost like you're very cautious about certain changes or decisions that you make with your business um, and very money conscious. Okay, so... It's almost like, well, I know that this product is selling fast, but I'm just going to wait until it sells or the service that I provide, I'm just going to wait until it sells completely out before I restock type of thing. And what they're telling you is you have to think ahead. Like if 
you wait for your for you to restock or for you to uh, get that product again or whatever it is that you're selling or pushing, um, then you're not thinking of what may happen because life happens, right? Uh, there could be restrictions. There could be a delay. Maybe you're not uh, getting all your ingredients on time, whatever the situation is. Like you're being very, very cautious about how you spend the money in your business and what they're telling you is yes that's a good thing but sometimes it is also very important and necessary to have what is selling the most in hand okay so don't be so stingy to make money when it comes to businesses you got to spend money <laughs> all right now let's go with capricorn Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. How are they viewed by the public, clients, or customers? Capricorn. How are they viewed by the public, clients, customers? And what is the advice? Capricorn. All right. One more shuffle. Here we go. Queen of Cups. Page of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right, so what they're showing me here with the Queen of Cups is your energy is very, very well received, your product or service that you're providing, Capricorn. Um, I feel that it has a lot to do with, for some of you guys, uh, it has a lot to do with uh, the emotional aspect. For others of you, it could be beauty, uh, the beauty aspect. Um, for some of you guys, healing type of energy. Whatever it is that you're selling, promoting, or advertising is definitely helping um, clientele, the clients, or uh, the public in general. Uh, and it is very well received. With the Page of Cups, though, what they are telling you here is um, sometimes it is, I feel like you're very in tune right now and what they're telling you here with the Page of Cups is pay a lot of attention, Capricorn, to your clients, to your customers, uh, to the public. Um, sometimes I think I could totally relate to this. Sometimes we think like an example when we're selling or making a product, we think that because we love it, the public's going to love it. And that's not always the case. So what they're telling you is stay very in tune to your intuition. Yes, but also pay a lot of close attention to what is really working for you, Capricorn, because what's working there's no need for change and continue on that path um the reason why i'm saying that is again i feel like you're very in tune and very well received uh but the advice here with the page of cups it is about being able to receive or being able to see what is really working for you and not trying to tweak it because it's working um so i feel for some of you guys if you feel like your business has been challenged a bit do not despair, do not worry, because things start to flow very organically um, without resistance, okay? Because flowing or water is very flowing and you have two cup cards here. So it's definitely talking about restrictions no longer being there for you. All right. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Aquarius. Let's see. How is Aquarius viewed by the public customers or clients? And what is the advice for Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are they viewed by the public, customers, clients, and what is the advice? All right, here we go. Three of Pentacles and the Emperor card. Mm, beautiful cards here. All right, Aquarius. So Three of Pentacles. They are. They definitely feel like they're seen. They're understood. Um, like you're very aware of what works for them or what they like or what service they like to get or what product they're buying. Um, it, it's very reciprocal type of energy here and they will definitely continue to uh, come to you or to come to get your service or your product. The Emperor card here is having the need to be a little bit more balanced, Aquarius, being a little bit more structured. Um, so as an example, if you're not the type to necessarily be logging or um, uh, writing things down or keeping everything in like in an organized fashion, that is something that is definitely going to help you up your business. Um, why? Because obviously when you are pretty much noting everything down, you're able to see what services are the most that are being sold or that are being bought 
products, if you're selling products, for example, you are going to definitely see um, what is selling the most and what you need to continue investing in so that you can be pushing out that product. Uh, a little bit more of the energy, what they're saying here is you need a little bit more structure. So as an example, if you've been um, doing this business for quite a while and you've gotten to the point where you are doing financially very well and you just don't want change, if you need assistance or if you need help or if you need someone to be taking over accountability, accounting, accountability, sorry, accounting or the books or uh, even product inventory, whatever it is, like do what you need to do to, to get to get on that train because the stability that is coming towards you is very great, but you're going to feel like you're being pulled towards different directions. And what they're telling you is make the steps, take the steps now to get yourself organized, uh, to have organ organization, because this is going to help you in the long run, Aquarius. All right. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Pisces, finally. I was trying to do this reading uh, short, but then I decided, well, you know what? It's not fair for those that are I run their own business. So I decided to do the entrepreneur side as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Okay, finally, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does the public view them? Public, clients, or customers? And what is the advice for Pisces? Oh, 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 sorry. All right, I'm going to put them back in there. Let me get the other cards. Give me one second, you guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, what the heck? All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does the public, clients, or customers view them? And what is the advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? One more. Okay. I was going to shuffle them out already. <laughs> They're like, nope, not yet. Okay. Here we go. Pisces, Nine of Wands and Two of Wands. There is... Okay. So for some of you guys, you're going through this situation of feeling a little bit restricted, feeling a little bit blocked. Uh, perhaps the clientele has gone down or perhaps you're not getting as much uh, sales, uh, whatever the situation is in regards to feeling a bit restricted. Um, now, when we talk about how you're being viewed, um, they definitely, I feel like your energy is received. I feel like it is uh, the product or service that you provide is of good quality because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've mastered or you've been doing this for many, many years. Um, but with the two of wands, this is growth. This is expansion. But this also indicates having the need to view how you promote or how you sell or how you put your product out there or your business. Um, there needs to be some type of change. Uh, why? Because we see the girl here looking out towards the window and we see the world card down here. So that's indicating to me the possibility to continue growing and, and, and finding more stability or being able to really expand on another level, taking it to the next level. Um, but that's going to need or the need um, for you to be more open minded or to try different things is going to be highly needed uh, for you guys to be able to. Uh, really be able to expand, really be able to grow and really be able to stabilize your finances. So there is something that you've been doing for quite a while, uh, Pisces. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you've been doing the same product or the same service or um, the same business for a very long time, right? And like I was mentioning, I'm not sure if I was saying that to Libra or to Scorpio where um, I was mentioning that sometimes we are so used to doing a product, a service, something that we're selling basically to the public uh, or a way of doing business that this is how we were trained. This is how I learned. This is what I'm doing and this is what I'm sticking to it. And if it's working, amazing. Keep doing that. There's no need to tweak it. 
But if it's not working and you've been at it for like nine years and you still haven't got that business off the ground or you still haven't, you know, taken it to the next level, it's time for you to approach it in a very different way. So this could be your product. This could be uh, the service that you're providing. It could be the way you're advertising yourself or the way you're putting yourself or presenting yourself to the world. It needs to change. So my question to you would be, what is it that you're holding on to that you're not willing to change? Um, is it a pride thing? Is it something that because you're just comfortable and this, you know, has been working for you for a while and lately you've been, you know, going through difficulties or struggling financially, um, but it worked at some point. Now, for others of you, if it hasn't been working at all, it's time that you approach the situation from a very different perspective because only then, by putting yourself out there, trying new things, being more spontaneous, uh, trying a new way or a new form of advertising yourself or your business, it's what's going to draw in the clientele. It's what's going to draw in more people to your business. But again, you have to think outside the box. All right? Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely let me know. Comment below so that uh, maybe we can introduce this probably once a month. Um, anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.